A wide variety of chemicals exists in your chemistry lab, as well as in industrial settings. Proper use of the chemicals is necessary for them to react as expected, rather than creating hazardous situations, such as fires or explosions. In this video, you will learn how to handle and store the chemicals properly and interpret chemical labels. In the lab, you need to be familiar with the chemicals you are using and handle them safely. Always wear appropriate PPE in the lab while handling chemicals. Address any specific precautions that are necessary for the chemicals you are using. Do not take chemicals out of the lab space. A common concern with handling chemicals is contamination. Having unexpected chemicals in a reagent bottle can lead to unsuccessful experiments and unsafe situations. To avoid contamination, never return chemicals to the reagent bottles after removing them. Instead, check if someone else could use the chemical or dispose of the chemical properly. To further avoid contamination, do not use lab implements, such as spatulas, in different reagent bottles without cleaning the implement between uses. Handle reagent bottles carefully so you do not risk breaking glassware or the reagent bottle. For example, pour out a small amount of the chemical into a beaker and use that to pour the chemical into more delicate glassware, such as a burette. Also, never pour solutions or reagents above your head. A common way to quickly communicate the hazards of a chemical is the National Fire Protection Association, NFPA, diamond. The diamond may appear on a chemical container or in its storage area. The blue section provides health hazard information. The red section provides information about its fire hazard. The yellow section provides information about its reactivity hazard. And the white section includes codes to indicate any special hazards, such as being an acid. A rating of zero is stable, whereas a rating of four is the most hazardous in each area. Use the NFPA diamond to inform your handling of the chemical, such as whether you can safely heat it or mix it with water. You can also find more information in the SDS for the chemical. In general, use a chemical only in the way you are directed to do so. When you are done using a chemical bottle, close the bottle and return it to its proper storage location or where your TA or instructor determines is appropriate. Do not leave bottles out longer than necessary. It is more likely for them to become broken if left out. Also, be sure to clean up any spills appropriately. A good chemical storage location should be cool, dry, and dark, such as the designated chemical storage cabinets. Leave cabinet doors closed. Storage cabinets are designed to contain any spills or even explosions, but only when the doors are closed. The cabinets also should be labeled by type of chemical, so that incompatible chemicals are not stored together. Do not use a fume hood for long-term storage of chemicals. If you have any question about the proper storage location, check with your instructor. Make sure that you are familiar with the storage options in the lab and that you know where each chemical belongs. You should also know where you can get more of the reagents if supplies run out. If you need chemicals from a stock room, retrieve them yourself. Do not use students to retrieve chemicals unless otherwise told to do so by an instructor or coordinator. Whenever opening a new reagent bottle, make sure to write the date of opening on the bottle to keep track of how long it can be used. Summary. Make sure you are informed about the chemicals you are using and prepared with PPE to handle them properly. Do not return any chemical to the reagent bottle after removing it or use the same lab implements with multiple chemicals. Pour liquid into a beaker to avoid dangerous situations with large reagent bottles. Become familiar with the NFPA labels to quickly assess the hazards of chemicals. Return chemical reagent bottles to the instructed location. Keep doors to chemical storage closed. Store chemicals in dry, cool places properly labeled by hazard type. <laughs>